Hello, hello. Another day. Another stream. More interesting, less interesting. Is it just another day? It kind of is just another day. But to some, it is not. Although, I don't think I've changed the title of my stream yet. Yeah, it still says I'm testing. I'm definitely not testing. <laughs> Let's fix that. What's today's title? Um... M100 true electrical solar stuff <laughs> there yeah, apparently I was set to testing all day yesterday. Or at least my title was called testing all day. No big deal. Hi, Al. How's everyone? Sharks played yesterday. Sharks won yesterday. It was a good day. Some other stuff happened yesterday, too. I don't, I don't know how to take that. It's, I don't know. If you've known anything about me for any amount of time, then you know. I'm really, I wasn't a fan of either. And I'm sure everybody's got their reasons for each, but I don't know. Not important to me. So yeah, another day. <laughs> I did find something interesting out today. Well, I had a feeling, so I kind of changed myself, changed my behavior, you know? When you talk to people, it doesn't take much to be nice. To be more than nice. I've realized in the last couple of months, um, I've started trying to be more overtly thankful with people. And I don't really interact with many people that aren't smiling anymore because of that. At least I think it's because of that. Stupid things like just saying, Hey, thanks. That's awesome. At a drive through You know? They're like, we're all people. We're all humans. Let's be human to each other. <laughs> it's, uh, it's interesting and it's cool. And when I was younger, I would see it as me sucking up. Me being... Well, I mean... If you watch this for any amount of time, you know that I'm generally an awkward person. <laughs> so I would see, I would see it that way. I would see it through that lens. And now I'm just like, you know, what's the matter with telling people, hey, thanks, you're awesome. It's, it makes you feel better. It makes them feel better. And it makes just the world a little brighter all around. Anyway, if you happen to be one of the people that I have told you're awesome, you are. And if you're not yet, you're still awesome. Wow. My eyes look like a raccoon right now. Why is that? Is it just the lighting? Is it that I have a fat face because I'm out in the desert? <laughs> Not drinking enough water, too much beer, perhaps? Certainly possible. I did not, by the way, 
change my settings around. So I'm going to do some sliding back and forth. I'm going to drink some water. So this is the intro part. I've already gone a bit far for this to be a basic intro, but if this is your first time seeing me, my name is David, and this is basically a place, not even a place, this is a channel, I guess, where I can force myself to work on my projects. I can make myself do the things that I enjoy doing and not not allow myself to fall to the side of saying, well, you know, that's that's not helping me in my current situation. That's not teaching me something that's going to be valuable to me in the future. That's not, let's just say a lot of my projects are things that I do because I want to do them. And I end up in a situation where they cost money, they don't make money. And after a while, that starts getting to me. So this, my goal here is to just make this be a, a place where I take three hours and I focus on doing one of the things I wanna do. I do have to admit something silly though. I was driving by a camper world today and I thought to myself, you know, I've got a lot of ideas of what I want in the trailer. What I want in this, in this, or, or what I want available to me in this adventure that I'm hoping to take on. How much of this do I have to build? So I had a conversation with Maggie, my co-pilot on this upcoming adventure. And I said, hey, do you want to go look at some stuff that's already built? like?" She's on board with the idea of me building a trailer, but a lot of it comes down to, you know, saving money at, at the expense of time. And if we go the other direction, then, you know, maybe there's something that already exists that will just take a little bit less time. Um, she's got a big focus right now on, on visiting family it's holidays you know so that's gonna make getting into the warehouse to do the the actual labor a little more difficult timing wise but anyway i floated the idea we're going to take a look at it. And at the very least, I can look at stuff and say, oh, that's how they did that. Cool. That's what I'm going to do too. Right? I, there's there's no issue in looking at what else, what else is out there and comparing really the price point of what I'm looking at doing. I, I do not think that we'll be able to get the sort of things that I want and need to make this project successful, but, or sorry, finish that thought. I don't think that we'll find the things that we want at a price that is anywhere near what it would be trading my time for it instead. Um, most of it, the battery and the solar, that's, that's going to be the big one, right? Uh, what I'm looking at is probably around three, four thousand uh, dollars to have that included in something already. From what I've seen, that puts it around the ten thousand to twelve thousand dollar mark of just add on to an already ten thousand dollar trailer. So I'm just saying I don't think we're going to find anything. But why not look? Anyway, all that being said. The plan for today, I've changed the title. Uh, if you were here yesterday, we were going to go over electrical stuff. So that's what I'm hoping to do today. All 
I don't remember what we were looking at though for that. So let's let's get Chrome and the other what Vivaldi. I always try to put a Y in Vivaldi for some reason. But let's get those fired up and take a look at what we're actually looking at. So I was trying to do it in GIMP. And I don't know that that's the right answer, right? Let's take a quick, oh yeah, we want to make sure that we have, sorry, before I switch over and making sure that I'm already signed into all my stuff. Transition Pail. I do need to make hotkeys for this stuff. Took over, took over. All right. So I was thinking about it last night. And I do need to make I need to make the wiring portion. Oop, Kufant. We'll send a great ball at it. And I'm not worried about, not worried about whether or not I caught it for a while. I did realize something. <laughs> My goal for the Pokemon Squirrel game. My next goal is at uh, 250 points. So another 147 Pokemon to catch. And that allows me to catch 25th level Pokemon. I thought when I read it yesterday, I was thinking that it was saying that I, my, I need to get my loyalty level up to 25. And I'm like, or what? Anyway. Sweet. We caught it. All right. Back at the ranch. Um, oh, let's get Gimp up and running. All right. So one of the issues I see with this, and it's it's a temporary issue, but this may give me a rough idea of my layouts, but it's not really gonna give me much by way of, of how much actual, actual wiring I'm gonna need. Whereas trying to fit it all in here would. And there is still, of course, um, oh wait, I can do it on this one. There's still a matter of figuring out like, okay, how much actual crap has to go into this? So let's go here and go back to their, uh, I'm wondering about this because I'm I'm going to be buying this stuff anyway. Black Friday all the way, right? Are you back? Yeah. One more quick water break. Wow. I'm dehydrated today. I don't understand it. I do understand it. Too much beer. Too much beer and then too much exercise. You put those two together. I guess there's a question of is there anything in here that's going to be helpful to me?
pre-Black Friday. I don't think there's anything actually in here. Oh, they put a slider on there. Super useful. Interesting. They said that this was out of stock before. <laughs> AC to DC portable battery charger. What? I mean, is this basically the shore charger? Interesting. Because this is what I thought I was looking at for a shore charger or shore power. But like that is a massive price difference, right? Doesn't look like any other kits are there. So this is just biggest savings of the year. This is pre-Black Friday. Please, please note, please note. That's kind of funny, but okay. Adventure. I mean, that's actually a really good deal. It's not what I'm looking for, but it is a good deal. Anyway, let's go. I am planning on, I guess, logging in and looking at this all on Black Friday. Wow. That's super lower than it was just yesterday, right? Two six one five oh two. Oh, but I'm gonna have the same thing in here. I'm gonna have the thirty-seven ninety. I feel like I should be keeping track of that. <laughs> Isn't there? There's. Oh no, it's on here. So if I go here and here and here. If I hit track price, though, that's only going to be for this one. Yeah, see, track price pops up. There we go. This page is saved in shopping list. Well, I think that'll at least still give me a general idea, right? Hey, I can select this now. It's still cheaper adding those in. <laughs> so they mu this must have just been out of stock. 3745, 35. One more thing to look at. Gray, just what I needed. More options. The best thing in the world. Oh, 
All right, so for me, the biggest thing is just where this goes and where th where this, this, and this go. The rest of it's pretty small. And this already has like a dedicated spot. I do wish, and Renegy, if for any reason you somehow run across this, give me a list of the things that are there and links to them because like this is all well and good but i want to go to the manuals for each one you know what i mean oh please tell me that this is an actual manual nope <laughs> I mean, it's got some specifications, but you can also add, no. Yeah, I had a hope that, that would be too, but I had had an assumption that that would be a little too easy as well. And this is still something it says, if it says it includes it, why do I have to add it later? And why does it increase the price? Like, don't say that it includes it if it doesn't include it. And no, I'm not going to chat with you. I'm on stream. <laughs> so now what I'm, one of the things I'm wondering about, and that's kind of why I brought this back, but I couldn't, shouldn't be on this one. I should go back to the one that still has all of the stuff. Because one thing that I'm considering or thinking about is I've got this battery box up here. And then I've got water underneath, right? So... What do I do, like if I push water over and just plumb this, this is, this will just be a plumbing for the input, right? And then I run an output to come out like say here, or I could honestly, I could just do it on the same side. I don't really need it to be separated. My sensibilities say separate it, but I don't know that that's a requirement. And it may actually be better um, because my hope or my, my plan is to figure out like a tray system to put this in so that if there's a leak, if something happens here, the tray can direct any leakage in a way that I intend. Then I could see about putting everything else here. The one issue though, is that that's under the battery box. Oops, how do I make that come back? <laughs> Oh, show all. Okay. So, hide you again. Move you over. Then all of the plumbing is on the same side. And then all of the power is on the same side. I kind of like that better. My, my first thought was that I only wanted input on one side and output on the other side. But 
then I can kind of put the uh, the wiring, the power can come along this guy up and in, and that'll that'll give me an input for yeah. All right, that's what we're doing. So now I need to figure out, okay, what's the size of the thing that I need to put in here? Because I need to be able to make sure that the combiner box, the inverter, and probably this, probably the charger, are all in there. Explode. I always thought that one was funny. No, squirrel. Like, look at that guy. It's just and explode. <laughs> Seems like something you'd hear someone yelling on a on a newscast after a disaster. It exploded. <laughs> uh, anyway, what was I what was I looking at? Oh yeah, I need the sizes of each one of these things. You know what I, what I haven't been doing? Let's do that real quick. Oh, that guy's weird looking. You should watch him. Nope, I want to pop this out. Go away. Go away, me. I think I had a mission where I have to trade stuff. Wonder trade greater than 12th level. Wait, but it says I have zero. But I did definitely wonder trade someone who was 12th or higher. The, the guy in the, I guess, corner is weirding me out. I keep seeing him out of the corner of my eye. Average, average, horrible. All right. Wonder traded. Yeah, I've already got one of those. Did this update now? Now it says it. I have a golden ticket. I don't have a golden ticket though. I want a golden ticket. I don't know why, but I want it. What's the event shop now? Still pumpkins. I don't know how to get pumpkins. How do I get pumpkins? It's probably one of the side things. They do um, tournaments sometimes, and I don't really do the fighting side of it, just the collecting side of it. All right, so the 500 amp, like this list should be links. It, it just, it should be links. I understand that it probably makes it more difficult for them to change. Um, oh yeah, I'm, t I'm going to search, not... Oh hey, I caught the explode. Explode. Sold out or inapplicable. It's probably this one. What's the difference between the communication version? I mean, besides a hundred dollars, right? Uh, 
I'll just go with, I'm going to assume it's this one. We need to get a size for this guy. Actually, I should in here. I'm just going to create a design. It's going to be just the box that all this stuff sits in. And then I can import it. Uh, boop. You are... So that way I can model each one of these guys individually. Maybe not, you know, <laughs> accurately. But individually at least. Get to know. I'm a horrible person. The only thing I can think of, get to know. Just cut that off. Get to know your box. We're looking for dimensions. Not dementia, dimensions. Install the combiner box in a clean, cool, and dry place. Keep water, oil, and dirt away and protect it from direct sunlight. So yeah, my thinking is, and this, this is actually also a possibility, is rather than, all right. Rather than just making a, a case for it, uh, just attaching it to the underside of the battery box, right? Go away. There's still too much crap in here. And this is apparently too high. But that's okay. But yeah, just attaching it to the bottom. I mean, in theory, even putting it above the water tank, like, what are the chances that it splashes up when it leaks? Not super high. But if it's too high, I'll find out about it. Krizap. All right, but you know what? Let's do the only sane thing here and start hiding the stuff that we're, we don't care about. Looks like this is basically what we're looking at. And I think, I think I did that on purpose so I can, I'm not going to have this box just sitting on top of it. I want to do some sort of frame that's physically supporting this because that's not going to be light it's going to have two of those batteries in it um, so I have to take a little bit of space there into account and I wonder actually if I should consider the same thing like just make an entire framework around the size of this battery box and have it so that it'll hold the water and then it'll hold the electrical and I can put like a bar through here or not a bar uh, probably just a chunk of plywood but plywood that's been made water resistant waterproof ish esque and then as part of that I can basically have the tray and a hose that goes to a hole in the thing and straight down. That way, if this does spring a leak, hopefully it just, it's not enough to overwhelm whatever tray I build and it goes out the bottom of the trailer. That's what's going to need to happen. And it'll be another one of those things that I'm going to have to model separately.
Yay. Well, have to is a, well, it's a choice. And I just realized something. Did I screw up? I did. I've just spent a half hour explaining things on screen that aren't on screen. <laughs> this is the downside of having nobody in chat. Someone would be like, hey, idiot. <laughs> Oh well. Should we start over? Alright. So, if you hung with me through all of that, and you're on YouTube, sorry? <laughs> I think I should probably... 3742. Oops. This is also why I want to make sure that I have a second monitor. I mean, you'd think one of these things that I'm using would be able to do this. But, no, no, well, maybe, let's see. I'm gonna have my activity feed, cool, I have my chat. No, that's it. So yeah, interesting. Very fun of me. Um, but yeah, a second, a second monitor or just the ability to see what is currently being transmitted uh, is a vast difference. And here I am making fun of these guys as a web page. Ah, can't even get my stream straight. That is a massive difference in price though. And that's without even adding the extra battery. Okay, so it says upgrades include that's just, that to me is silly. Also, something I found out, um, oh, let me go back here. So I'm budgeting for Starlink here to be taking 100 watts. It actually averages around 20. Now, this isn't what I'm streaming. I haven't actually tried streaming with it just yet. Well, that's not entirely true. I did a little test stream walking around with my phone. Um, but that's not real, you know. I may try, what is today? Today is, today's when, holy cow, it's already Wednesday. Um, I may try tomorrow um, just doing a test stream off of it. It'll mean that I'm outside though. And I don't know if you know this about the Las Vegas area. It's both cold and hot at the same time. I mean, that's generally true. If you live in the desert, any desert, you understand that when it's cold, it's ridiculous cold. But you're still probably getting a sunburn. 
And when it's hot, well, it's ridiculous hot and you're getting a sunburn. Um, I always say the desert will always 100% have one goal and that is to kill you. That's it. That's deserts exist to kill things. And yeah, it would mean a very short stream more than likely. I thought about trying to stream when I'm out doing my workout, but I don't know that I really want that to be a part of this channel. Um, it's, I don't care, but it changes what I'm doing and it potentially changes my audience. And I don't know that I want to do that. I don't know. Where was I? Oh yeah, we were talking about this. So again, uh, if you were hanging out through all of that on YouTube, thank you. But uh, the goal, this is the battery box. I need to stuff all of, I need, well, one of these but everything that's in, I should just be, I should be opening these in new windows. Let me, let me just do that right now. I need to stuff all of the stuff that's in this off-road solution. What? Why did it take me? Okay, whatever. Um, the four by four power kit. That's what I'm looking for. Pioneer kit. Yeah, so I need to stuff this guy which is the DC DC charger squirrel. Sorry. I'm not sorry though. If you're, if you're watching this, you know <laughs> by now. Oh, dang it. I saw the escape message, not the, not the show up message. Anyway, back at the ranch. Long story short, too late. All right, so the things that I probably am not gonna need to have physical contact with very often. This guy, the, uh, this is the, that box, the 500 amp combiner box, or some semblance of it. See, it's got these little dots, whereas this guy, which says it's discontinued, does not. But I, They've also got this here, but it's not actually there. So, you know, uh, but it, basically this guy, this guy, and this guy, and maybe that guy. Let's look at that. Didn't it have a Includes, there we go. Off-road Pioneer. I think that is the battery switch. It could also be one of these fuses. If it's the battery switch, and that battery switch is not a physical switch, then I don't need to see it. Let's see if we can't find it. Like I said, it'd be a link. Make it a link. How? Why? Why is that? Yeah, see, again, sold out. That is a physical switch. Design that switches a single battery to a single load group. Okay, so that allows me to actually just 
click it's done and off and see discontinued out of stock not available but it's right there okay so that's something that I don't need to worry about So basically all three of these and probably this guy need to be in a box on the side that I need that I can get to. Let's look a little bit at this combiner box because the combiner box a lot of times from what I've seen is where fuses get hidden. But this has a separate fuse box. What does the inside look like? Use an RBF fuse. Where is this? Is is it these? There's no... I'm not seeing a fuse in this diagram unless that is it. And then the fuse is click, click, click. MRBF fuse. Let's take a look at that. Oh, okay. So it just goes right on the post. Interesting. All right. I've never seen that before. Not a huge amount of electrical. So this puts the fuses outside. Okay, so in short, yes, this has fuses. So basically everything goes in there. What are these for? I mean, it looks like this is just a couple of bus bars. Oh, so this is if I want to plug in the next combiner box, basically. So this is something that potentially I would need access to because there are fuses at play. Unless because that this comes with also a fuse box. Um, boom, boom, boom. 12 way 300 amp. So then my question, I suppose, becomes where do they want me to install that? Because it seems to me as though that is the fuse, the set of fuses. That again is sold out. Downloads. Yeah. There's no need to change the fuse and the system can be reset with a simple switch.
but there's no, there's nothing about how they're assuming that it's installed. <laughs> I mean, sure, that seems a little simplistic. That's, that's it though, huh? So then when I go back to this guy, they want inline fuses. Okay, yeah. I came to that realization where you can bolt them together. Questionnaire investigation. So here's kind of, here's my question. If they've got it set up so that that goes to the next charger box. has the battery charger or the charge controller and any DC loads. So these are all basically the same thing. This would be, I'm guessing that this is, would be the inverter side. So basically they would want a fuse between each thing, which makes sense. I mean, that's, that's what you want. Any wire that you run should have a fuse if it's coming off the positive on this side. All right. Makes sense. Um, but I think basically I'm going to have the battery and the charger. which are just in here as well. And they've got the, they've got this one circuit breaker here. They've got one of those here. But I think that's a DC circuit breaker. Now it's gotta be on the outside either way, doesn't matter. But let's, let's start modeling this out. So, oh yeah, but I need dimensions on the stupid thing. <sighs> Very sorry. I went, I went all squirrel. I'm not that sorry, but I'm sorry. Enclosure dimensions. We're looking at 10.35 by 6 by 3. Oh yeah, we're doing that over here. Which is going to be 1.35. You know what? I bet at least that I can do it the right size and then just scale it down, right? 10.35 by 6.3 
by 3.94. Okay, so we got a box that's about a foot. Um, wow, it weighs five pounds. <laughs> Now, I wonder if those dimensions include these bus bars sticking out. It was there something showing how much they stick out? If not, I wish it had that, the, uh, the long side as well. Oh, wrong pig. Let me see if I can get it too late. Yep. Well, I don't know if I got it, but at least I tried. Wait, bus bar, bus bar dimension. So probably that's not going to be their length. That's their thickness by their width. Hey, I caught the grown pig. Have I caught anything cool lately? Not since that. Just a plain old grown pig. Being pig. Doing piggy things. M8 bus bar. Oh, the M8's the size of the screw. Alright. Let's, you know, since we're here. It's okay. 500. Let's look at the. This one has the dots. Let's see if there's just a little bit more information in there, shall we? So this one has the dots like they show on this one. They, of course, don't give you a product number, so maybe. But let's let's see if there's anything different in this manual or Manuel it's got the voltage sensor to say which ones are plugged in that's nice can or cannot communication that's kind of funny though because this is just the other picture because it doesn't have the can Oh no, those are on top, so never mind. I take that back. So we've got kind of the same thing. Commander box is designed to withstand a continuous current not surpassing while maintaining an operating voltage between 9 and 60. The wiring diagram only shows the key component in a typical DC coupled residential energy storage system. The wiring might be different depending on the system configuration. Additional safety devices, including disconnect switches, emergency stops, and rapid shutdown devices might be required. Wire the system, blah, blah, blah. Okay. See, there we go. This at least gives you a little bit more information. It's about the same, but 
why does it give you so it is uh, okay let me finish a thought before moving on why is it giving me the additional space for these little stickouts but not the additional space for these stickouts Such fun. Keep trying. Does that say indoor? So it's a yeah, it definitely needs an enclosure. I'm glad I started looking at this. Oh, that's not going to be a pain in the ass at all. Or, sorry. <laughs> okay, so this is assuming that the fuse is there. This is assuming the fuse is in line. I mean, I have a thing where... I feel like anytime you put a fuse into something, you're probably going to have to change it. But realistically, if I do this right, the fuse is going to outlast me. But I hear you asking, is he going to do this right? Valid question. Combiner box is positioned at the first or last in the daisy chain network. I thought that that's... Okay. So looking at it yesterday, very specifically, the RVC network that this I thought was referring to is two wires and only one item per drop. They have seven wires and daisy chaining. More research required and more water. Establish either short range or long range communication with monitoring devices. That's the one I'd be looking for. That's, I, I have to admit, I have concerns about this in general, in that everything seems to communicate via Bluetooth. I don't trust Bluetooth. Like, I, I just don't. <laughs> and you shouldn't either. Make sure, blah, blah, blah. All of this is saying that it's connected with an RJ45. And I guess it's connected to a common drop tap. All right, stick with me. We're going on a bit of a side quest. Okay, Firefly, that's RVC. 
That's they keep coming up with this RVC stuff. Register to see pricing. But it says right here. <laughs> Common and rare drops. It's kind of funny watching the language, watching the English language run itself over. This looks exactly like they want $75. Holy macaroni. So this just allows four things to get plugged into it and get onto the CAN bus. Does that mean that basically low comes in here and doom, 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 and turns each one of these into a drop? And then high comes in and goes doom, 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 and then the voltage is just right here on the outsides? I mean, sure seems to be. But this RJ45 doesn't interact with any of that. Replace the terminated drop tap at either end of the RVC bus with a common drop tap not included. Okay, so the idea is basically you're sticking this thing on at the end of the normal CAN bus. See, that's better. That would be my preference right there. So that's where... Okay. One more thing to think about. Don't do Bluetooth if you can help it. All right, so this did give me a little bit more information. I feel like I'm gonna need one of these tools. This first part concerns me. Three H lugs are used to connect power supplies such as batteries and charge. I think this has to just be a generic image that they use for a stripper. So I don't, that doesn't look familiar to me at all. But this thing looks kind of ridiculous as a crimper. Let's see, 3 8 inch lug crimper. Because why not? It helps if I spell lug. Oh, yeah, what do you know? do it with a hammer, I guess. Oh, this is... Uh, okay. I was like, why is that $90? <laughs> Especially when you have one that's dumb and right here for a third. A whole kit. It's when it's... when it starts doing the work for you. They're even using the same blue color, like... Like, how... 
How is this okay? You know, you know what they're, what this is a knockoff of, right? Well, maybe it's not a knockoff for five hundred dollars. Let's see. Uh, electric hydraulic crimping tool. What's the other big blue? Um, it is... I keep wanting to say Milwaukee, but it's not Milwaukee. Makita. Squirrel or Skitty in this case. I think I'm going to have to buy some more Great Balls soon. So, I'm looking for a Makita. I mean, here's almost exactly the same thing, but on AliExpress, so maybe... But I, I specifically would want Makita. Cordless brushless crimping tool. What's this? Makita compatible. Makita 18 volt crimping tool. Wow. Maybe Swansoft is the real one. That's where we're at today. <laughs> In our world today, you, you, it's true on the internet, it's true everywhere. Why do we have to research everything this much? Like the internet was supposed to make this stuff easier, but it's the exact opposite. We've hit a point where I look at this and I go, wow, for that dollar amount, this has to be the real company. It's got one rating. And, you know, I'm not an elect chicken, so maybe I just don't know. And this is the, this is the bee's knees of electric hydraulic crimping tools. I don't know. I don't use one of these day in, day out to make money. I already have a manual 10 ton. <laughs> Who, who is Swanstar Soft? Let's look at the Swan st Swan Soft site. Focus on power tools. Anyone else see a problem with that? Focus on power tools. Hydraulic crimping tool. These aren't power tools. Hey, I caught the skitty. Do you see my confusion? Electric pruners, electric binding machine, electric chainsaw. I see pruners. Yeah, we're, I'm going down this rabbit hole. Sorry. Ooh, I almost got you there. Swansoft CNC. Is that is this the same Swansoft? This is not the same Swansoft. 
No, they don't have an actual like swan in their logo. Yeah, no. Uh, Swan Soft Tools. I don't know. I wanted to go to About Us. This is this is where my curiosity lies at the moment. This, this is their About Us. Let's see what they got in their blog. They make pruning shears. Okay, they're binding. There's the little chainsaw. Useful links about us. I, I just don't know where to start. <laughs> I mean, are they just the best at this? Because, like, Milwaukee makes one of these. I mean, everybody makes one of these. They seem to have a focus, and that focus is not... This. And this is a completely different crimping tool that... doesn't appear to be on their product page. They have a Twitter? No. See, I'm not sure if you're seeing this, but every one of these links is just a link to their product page. So they don't have Facebook, Twitter, Twex, X or whatever. There's no LinkedIn. They also don't have an M in a circle. All right. If somebody knows more information about this, it's, it's fascinating to me that like this, this looks to me like a knockoff product. But then you see the price point and you're like, that can't be a knockoff product. Like, if this is a knockoff, what's the real one got to cost, right? But... <laughs> Nothing is real on the internet, ever. That was a fun little rabbit hole to go down. I, I'm not... I'm still not entirely certain I'm, like, done with it. Let's see, they have tools and tool. This is, a, this is absolutely the same thing. Was I just looking at the knockoff page? This seems to have more of their stuff that's on their Amazon page. But they still don't have the 
Mm. <laughs> but they're they're claiming things in the same places though. Let's look at their about us. At Swansoft, comma, we value. I mean, they have more information at least. They have news and blog. I wish, I, I bet one of these YouTube videos goes into it. Why does the Google logo look so weird? Actually, that's, it has no color anymore. The colorless logo is used for a funeral. What? The colorless version of the logo is particularly used in recognition of a major tragedy, often for several days. also use when switching to dark mode but it's a white logo instead of gray okay so is it just something that I've never noticed there I thought there was just a switch here to go from light to dark oh well you know what not a rabbit hole I want to go down just yet let's look real quick skitty a level one skitty fantastical and perfect but also bad Yeah, I don't think it's the gray logo. It's not colorless. It is white, so it must be the. It must be this. I've I've got to just be not remembering correctly. I don't know. Gonna need a little bit more of that. I wonder if there's anything in here that might have like what what they think the design is supposed to be laid out like. It's maximum load, extreme weather. Oh, 
two solar panels to the roof. An additional panel can be connected in series and then parallel, parallel or parallel first, then connected in series. That is something I'm kind of considering too, is whether or not I put just like a solar panel on the thing that's always there and you know maybe enough to kind of top off the battery ball toy all right i'm gonna take advantage of this squirrel moment and go get some more water but we're gonna try with a great ball first Dunk.
And we're back. For reals, though. Well, let's let me do a quick, uh, you know, discount double check. Alrighty, I am in fact back, and apparently caught a ball toy. Let's finish out that squirrel moment. Yep, yeah, that is a caught ball toy. chair slid off. You know those little protectors, the plastic protectors? The, uh, my brother-in-law, I guess? His office has those, and I, it's just enough for me to, the way I sit, slide off the back of it. Let's look at the learning center. Oh, yeah, I did that last time. Their support... I have some experience. Portable. I mean, it's kind of portable and home. Let's try this. Let's look at this. I wonder if they, it would be awesome if they had a, a system builder. I mean, don't, but don't just take me to kits. They're just showing me products. Hmm, it's unfortunate. It's a tray cable. See, this is, when I see stuff like this, I'm like, um, are they a knockoff? <laughs> like, what's, what's Renergy X? A smarter way to sell their products. Okay, no, this is, okay, this is for them to do an install on a home. I was like, what is that up there? I see links, I click links. <laughs> no, that's not what you do. Okay, well now we know what that is. But that's not, it's not helpful to what I'm... Or here. Are there any reviews? There are no reviews for this bundle. What I don't want to do is I don't want to get into a situation, I don't want it to look like this, but I don't want to get into a situation where I'm ordering it to find out what's in it. You know what I mean? I think this is, oh, well, you know what? This being the charging box, this is basically what I'm what I'm writing together right now. What's interesting though is that in this picture they're using the old combiner box. So I wonder, a trailer ground, a trailer should have its own ground, probably, which would be off of this. F 
four is the DC DC charger. So, yes, I just zoomed in. So if I'm looking at this correctly, basically, if this is dumping power in and this is dumping power in, this is supposed to just recognize that that power needs to go here. Let's look at the, the DC DC battery charger real quick. Includes. I know we have looked at the DC DC battery charger, but the way that, that, that they've got that combiner box set up doesn't make sense to me. Solar panel to battery charger connection cable. Oh, here we go. So you go here and here and here and here. Slash twenty four IP sixty seven fifty amp. It must be this one. Uh, downloads. Open a new tab. All right, so this is the old battery box or the old combiner box. It's the new combiner box, and this is the battery charger. And they've got solar panel in. Starter battery. This goes to that battery. Yeah, see each one of these is supposed to be on a different line. Is that just what they're showing? this wiring diagram but strangely that these are just tapping that I keep trying to, to right click and drag oh it's okay <laughs> it's gonna be okay Because it looks to me it looks to me as though it's basically just throwing everything together. And it seems to me as though this should be connected to here. but it should be connected to the battery directly, I would think. But I suppose the battery does have to discharge as well. But then how does it control? Oh, it probably doesn't have to worry about controlling it because it's using the smart batteries. The battery itself will stop discharging.
I'm just curious about the free gift. Oh, a space heater. Cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. Squirrel. Oh, I don't have any great balls anymore. We'll use an ultra ball just because, and then we'll buy some more. I knew I had to be getting low. Purchase. Uh, what do we want? 20? Sure. 20 seems like a good round number. I've got so many of these other... But it's like, I don't want to, I wouldn't want to type in nest ball. Do I have any other golden tickets? Nope. Or a frozen ball. I have 21 friend balls and I never run across anything that's fire. Wow. I didn't get to use the, the ultra ball, didn't even catch him. Are these boot warmers? Shoe dryer, yeah. Boot warmer. <laughs> uh. Okay, no, this one's more clear. This goes directly to the bus bars. So yeah, everything is just connected together. What is this? What is this fuse box fusing? Does anyone else see a problem with that? Like, I, I guess that makes this your DC out. Right? That's that's what we looked at when we saw those the fuse box. Let's do the time up again. Uh, we're looking for DC fuse box, I think. Yeah, this guy. Okay, so yeah, you're just plugging off of this is the idea. just this other bit but at the end of the day what I'm confirming is that all of this is just supposed to take care of itself but there's there's just there are still some things that bother me like if the starter battery goes below 12 volts this guy is supposed to tell it to stop charging the battery. But that doesn't mean that it stops drawing power. It just means don't charge the battery. If there's a light on or something like that, it's not going to cut it. Right? Because it can't. That's just the can communication side of things. I'm trying to think of what this thing can do if the battery 
it's connected basically directly to the plus minus of this battery and to the solar panel. Like what is this gonna be able to stop? Because all of these are, that's just a big bus bar, right? What am I missing here? I'm definitely missing something. Um, I think I remember. So let's find What a voltage source. And let's say we have an LED and an LED. If we have positive connected um, actually can I undo from there oh cool I need a switch time voltage we have this switch and positive goes into this switch but positive goes from this side of the switch to here and then it does one of these and then it goes over here. And I hit simulate. I just want to see. <laughs> I don't think this is what I wanted. But like, this is basically what's going on in that system. There's a switch here, but it doesn't have any control. But I don't think this is what I want. Animated, interactive, that's what we want. Visualize, simulate, that's what I want. Oh, this is Adafruit. Um, 
How about not? We just want to see what it looks like. I'll get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you, you. Let's get rid of, well, we're going to move you. You, you, nope. I need a switch. Normally, yeah, we'll do a single. Well, no, let's, let's make it more complex. AC, I want to run DC. Uh, I think the problem is that I have this guy in there. <laughs> now you're not connected but if I do this does it not like it because well, let's go the other way can I put this side to here This way? No. It just won't let me make the connection because it's a dumb idea. I'm sure that there's a reason that it makes sense. But I am not an electrical engineer. So actually, let's... done with you. Let's try a push button instead. So if I hit you and you, okay, but then if I do you to you and you, it won't. Okay.
How do I close the switch? At least it let me plug it in, right? I zoom around. But it won't let me run. Run in AC. What's the problem? All right, well, I think I've kind of made my point and that this just does not make sense. But there are, there are definitely some things, especially when it comes to uh, automotive wiring and high voltage, uh, like home, not high voltage. No, it is high voltage. I, I'm, I'm used to dealing in this realm, which to me, that this is going to be a problem. And I'm not entirely certain how to reconcile that problem. I wonder if solar power system designer I mean these are probably all going to be for home right Those things are cool, they're sales tools, but they like they put things together in, in a way that when you provide an app to the end user, it's got their house, it's got their information, it's it's kind of neat. These are all, but these are all going to be focused on that. Helioscope. It's probably going to be the same sort of thing, but nope, not doing that. Hoodoo. This is, I thought Udu was project management. I'm like, what? <laughs> open, oh, let's see, open solar. This, I hope this isn't a case of open source. Tacking the word open source on there, but not actually being open source. I, I understand why. If you can just tie yourself into actual installers, okay. I get why it makes sense. Yeah, you, you offer enterprise services. But this isn't open source. So why did they add open to it? Because they have an API. Oh. For purchasing. Um, let's, I wonder if 
there is there just like a demo this is about the company not worried about that I'm actually not worried about accurate 3d design I'm, I'm worried about layout you know I mean, like I said, sales tools. This is pretty cool, but I'm not trying to sell a solar system. Let's do um, off-grid. I mean, it would be pretty funny if they had. I mean, I've done all of this. This is basically figure out what you need and order it. Okay. Like they're not wrong, but that's what I'm trying to avoid. Batteries, types of batteries, cool. Uh, go away, Carla. DC, DC, DC to AC. Wait. Wow, they really just kind of. I'm guessing that's supposed to be a battery. So the idea is that this, the power goes to the charge controller, which goes to the battery, which goes to the inverter. Again, separation of the systems. And this is kind of what I'm used to. It separates them. I think I think what's screwed with me is the combiner box. So yeah, let's look at that. Hey, look, it's Renegy again. So this has all the solar panels. They're all to negative. All their positives. Okay. But this this is a combiner box that only handles solar. And again, this is what I'm used to. This is the whole PV system. The whole PV system is combined. And then you have a PV output. And that PV output would go to the charge controller. And the charge controller would send the charge. And the other thing would go in, or the, the other thing, the alternator would go into the charge controller and the charge controller would go out. And then from the battery side, it goes from the battery to the charge controller and then from the battery to the inverter. And there's fusing in there. Seems pretty straightforward to me. And maybe in a weird way, that's what this is trying to show. 
But especially looking at it this way, it really doesn't look like it. Because the positive from the battery going to the same place... I mean, like, even this, they, if they were going to use a bus bar for the ground, why aren't they using it for positive if that's the way that it's supposed to be set up? Right? Am I digging far too deep into a, an overly simplified sales piece? Yeah, see, they've got positive for the solar panels going directly into there. It's 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 definitely what I'm thinking. So yeah, this, this just has to be an oversimplified wiring di diagram. And unless somewhere in this combiner box, there's like, this is cut and this is cut so that these are not directly connected to each other. Cause like, I can definitely understand that the battery can say, whoa, I'm full, stop charging me. It can do that all on its own. But none of these systems can say, hey, I'm getting low, stop taking from me. In this configuration. So like, instead of this being connected to the bus bar, these just need to be connected together. <clears throat> and that was the entire point of this. This stream was gonna be to figure, like, I, but I got caught. I got caught on this and I said, oh, well, they've already got it. But then I got caught on, well, why is it wrong? And according to their own manuals, it's wrong. And then I decided, hey, we're just going to do this instead. So we're going to go back to that. Now I'm not going to be able to make that small enough. Sorry, squirrel. And I am going to, real quick, since I'm getting errors on my OBS Blade app, just restart it. Let's just get that out of the way. As soon as those errors start, it's too late. Reconnection complete. 
No. You could be far smaller, but you need to go down and become a hole. Comb box, right? I wonder if I should start putting the dimensions on them. <laughs> it kind of makes sense to do, wouldn't it? Let's try it. What were the dimensions for that combiner box? This is the newer one, so we're going to use it, right? Yeah. Oh, I didn't catch the Carvana. This one? Yeah, there we go. 10.35 by 6.3 by 4.53. 10 10.663 by. Nope, 10.3, wait, 10.35 by 6.3. by 6.30 by 3.94, 4.53. If I did you at a two height, okay, no, that doesn't help me at all. <laughs> you need smaller. And smaller. And actually, we're going to break you back up. You need to become a hole. And there we go. Select all of the things. Yeah, that's better. At least we know what it is, what its size is, you know, details. So our next order of business is Includes we need that guy. So go back to here. I'm guessing it's that one. Downloads, manual, in new tab. The 
the USB loads thing always makes me laugh. Like, yeah, we're just going to throw a USB cable on it. I mean, I, I get it, but I just find it hilarious. Yeah, so see, it's got it coming directly from the battery. And part of me thinks that it should be coming from the load, the, not the load, the, the charge controller. Because the charge controller, doesn't it keep track and say, hey, no, stop. <laughs> I mean, I suppose the battery does that as well. Okay, this has minimal wiring data other than from the battery. So the auxiliary battery straight in cool connect the battery charger to the panel cool starter battery cool and the battery temperature sensor okay so the only thing that 